Oh my, what a weekend that was. Oh, I don't really know how to describe it to be fair, but anyway, I want to talk about one thing first, and it's called outrage. Once upon a time, maybe before Covid, who knows, we used to love each other, and we used to tolerate each other, and we used to see each other, and we used to see each other's point of view, although it wasn't our cup of tea, but anyway, we still respected that. But now we've got this fucking odd thing called outrage. I call it even fake outrage because for the life in it, each outrage topic lasts no more than about like two or three days, then it's completely forgotten about. And that's about it. Right, I'm going to give you some examples. Okie dokie, 5G, Weatherspoons, Dominic Cummings, Boris Johnson, and street names in Glasgow, right, it's almost like, uh, like a goldfish, you know, within a couple of days it's no longer heard of, it's not even no longer discussed, it's no longer heard of, right, it's just, it's like, outrage, ah, three days later, I haven't heard a thing about it. That's not healthy. That's not healthy in the remotest. By fuckery, that is... That's dangerous. Back in... Like, uh, ancient Victorian days, that kind of shit would probably get you sectioned. For an undetermined amount of time. Not just one of these, you know, a new care model where... You know, you get your, your symptoms treated and you're back out into the community with a support of a CPN. No, 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 no. But anyway, we're not here to talk about uh, Victorian psychiatry. But anyway, yes, this uh, outrage thing is absolutely terrible. And also, uh, we're living in this fucked up generation where people actually sift through about maybe six to ten years of Twitter statuses, Facebook statuses. Oh look, there's a naughty status. Show it up. Try to cancel culture somebody. Like, cancel culture never helps anyone in the first place. Does it? Fuck. But anyway, they do that and somebody loses a business, somebody loses a livelihood, people lose their YouTube channel they've had since age of 13. That is absolutely fucking poor. It's bollocks. Uh, yeah, um, whatever happened to Generation Love? What happened to the generation where we loved each other and we came together? Although our points of view would be a bit kind of opposite to each other, we respected each other's point of view nonetheless. We didn't mock it, we didn't all that 2020 stuff. It's just really bad. Like, come on, like... Remember when Generation Love was about? We loved each other, we shook each other's hand, we talked to the early hours in the morning over Skype. That was really good. We used to uh, get drunk together and stoned together and fucking have a laugh and sometimes share cake together. But now it's share this status from 2006. Oh no, JK Rowling is such a terrible woman. She's not. Just because she has a, an opinion of the world doesn't make her a bad woman. And uh, just because she didn't really approve of Indie Ref back in 2014 doesn't justify cybernats hailing a head to toe and shite. No. Grow up. And she's been hailed head to toe and shite again just because she's talking about feminine products or something. Fucking hell. This is desperate. I mean, I know SJWs do get to a desperate level, but this is getting beyond, this is getting beyond shameful now. Right. Another bloody ass topic. People renaming streets in Glasgow because they are uh, embarrassed by uh, Glasgow's history. Right, well, Glasgow does have a kind of dark and murky history. If you don't like it, don't look into it. That's what I'd say. Anyway, uh, what else? 
uh, people are putting up street names in Glasgow, you know, like street name signs to replace the uh, things like Buchanan Street and stuff like that. Uh, you're walking to, into very extreme murky law territory because if you are going to be changing a street name, you have to, apart from contact like uh, Ordnance Survey, you've got to contact the Regional Council, you've got to contact the lawyers to actually approve it. You actually have to get a lawyer involved to uh, approve or uh, help approve you getting a, a, a street name changed. The council has to go through the same process, so you can't just randomly just start slapping labels on every street corner as you see fit. That's going to get you potentially charged, and if you do, it's all right up on your shoulders. Oh man, it's like, the world's just went nuts this weekend. I think people need to fucking hit the reset button. Find that reset button on your shoulder, or on your back, or something like, slap it as hard as you can. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, failing that, try and raise some funds and find a wee guy at the bottom of the street, buy a bag of green off him, go to your, uh, your veranda with your old joint, smoke it, calm yourself out. If you don't do something like this in the next 24, 48 hours, you could mentally burst. There's not very many bases in mental health uh, at NHS, so you've got to do something to look after yourself. At least love yourself first before you start loving others. But you need to get back into this generation of love because honestly it is beyond fucked. And people are starting to do things uh, that normally would need a full law representation by ourselves. And by taking the law into your own hands you could get charged and you could end up in jail. And that could be uh, jailed for your very first offence. Come on, please. Just find that reset button. Instead of uh, throwing outrage and fighting with each other uh, and flinging bricks at police officers and tearing uh, these bronze statues down in Bristol, hit the fucking reset button before you either, one, kill yourself, kill others, or end up in the, in the jail under remand. Come on, wake up, spit spot, meat and two veg.